What's going on everybody? So I'm back today playing both the new Battle Ram and the new Tower Troop, the uh, Dagger Duchess. I'm um, actually pretty excited for both as well. I took a nice break yesterday from Clash Royale. I didn't play at all. Uh, went to bed early. Just everything had to reset my mind because... Um, you know, I was a little bit down, but I'm, on, I'm honestly in a great mood. I feel really good today, um, and I'm very excited to try out both these things. Um, I've heard a lot of your comments, but I made a post um, about what you guys thought about the uh, the Tower Troop before I even have played it. Um, and a lot of you said it's kind of weak later on in the game, but um, in single elixir can be pretty broken. So we're going to have to see for ourselves. I played a couple games, obviously, because I am League 6, but um, not too many. I'm going to go for the 3M here. Also, this deck, you're probably like, what in the world are you cooking, Hunter? Um, this, my friend actually made this deck and he sent it to me and i was like dang dude this is actually fire uh, i kind of want to play it but he had the knight instead of the battle ram and i was like you know what i want to i want to try battle ram for the video so um i decided to put in a battle ram and we're gonna see how this works out so i've already got three pumps in single it's looking pretty good right now it's basically like pump bow but without without the expo um it's just like three musketeer spam and low key i don't know you know i'm not 100 sure if pekka is going to be insane in this meta um but if pekka is good in this meta i feel like three musketeers is a decent deck to counter it because you can just kind of pump up on them so i'm gonna go 3m as soon as i can on zero over here um it's hard to really play cards when you have so much elixir because like the elixir is just flowing you're always leaking elixir but i'm just gonna go larry's up high uh, yeah i appreciate everybody's kind of support yesterday and stuff um after that video i posted you know i was pretty bummed all throughout yesterday but by the time i woke up this morning i was like you know what i'm ready to lock in and get grinding this season uh, we've also got crl this weekend which if you some of you do not know it is the competitive um league i guess if you want to call it that's in clash royale so i'm just going to pump up right here and then go for the evo skellies probably on top of this little prince this guy's not too happy about what's happening on the map right now um, Little Prince, or he's gonna have to respond to those Evo Skellies with a Zap or something, and then I can go Battle Ram other lane, Little Prince to defend his battle, his Ram Rider, um, and honestly I got fooled, I thought it was gonna be a Ram Rider evolution when I first saw the, like, little trailer thing or whatever you wanna call it, the, f the first post, um, and then it ended up being this, which, you know, I'm, I'm cool with it, Battle Ram actually doesn't seem that broken, it seems like it's pretty fun to me, I'm about to play it for the first time here, like, on video, um, in a second, I'm actually gonna go for the Six Musketeers, <laughs> How many times have you seen six musketeers in an actual match? I'm just going to go for the battle ram at the bridge. We got the evil battle ram, though, this time. It's a lot better. Um, he's going to pop the ability. That's fine. We got the evil barbs that are about to spawn. Unfortunately, we do not connect the tower, but um, still a lot of elixir he has to defend. Yeah, he's kind of cooked here. Let's look at this, guys. We have another battle ram. Battle ram OP. We're going to take that right side tower and probably this left side tower, because how is he supposed to defend? Uh, I'm going to go for the third battle ram. Dude, this deck is so broken. Once you get, like, five humps on the board, it's actually over, because you can cycle infinite musketeers. Um, and when you have so many musketeers on the map, anything they place just gets, gets absolutely demolished. And then you can just battle ram spam to the end of the time. Like, that was actually gross. A lot of you are probably wondering if the Dagger Duchess is going to be any good um, with Expo decks. You know, because Expo, obviously, the coolest archetype in the game. If you if you run Expo, you're the coolest person ever. But, um, you know, I was thinking about playing Pumpo. I'll probably play Pumpo at some point here. But I want to try it out in Expo for sure um, relatively quickly. Okay, nice. The Dagger Duchess is pretty good against the Miner, I think. Um, I don't know. From what I've experienced so far, I feel like whenever it's out of Daggers, it's like the worst thing in the world. I don't know. It's like so incredibly bad at recovering. I think that it might need a tiny, like, slight, 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 very slight. Don't overbuff it, please. But I think it might need a tiny buff to where it gets maybe, like, one or two more daggers before it runs out. That would just be my opinion to help it out a little bit against, like, things like that. Um, but it is already pretty good against single troops when they're by themselves. Like, as you see right there, Musketeer just gets absolutely destroyed. Okay, wait, I lost. Um, maybe not, but I'm just going to pop the ability and then... Hopefully, this little prince can heat up and oh, he's gonna snowball. See, this is kind of the, the bad part of it because, like, once it's out of daggers, it is so bad. Um, it just takes mile like years to recover. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go double battle ram here. He's gonna have zero elixir defending on that uh, right side. Now I'm gonna go heal spirit on zero and then probably evo skellies with this because he's gonna try and play something on top of that. Yeah, nice. There's the knight. He's gonna have to snowball our arrows or something. And then wait, look at this. I'm back to battle ram, guys. Wait, I didn't even. I'm back to battle ram. Three card cycle OP. Oh my gosh. Delete champions, guys. He's dead. He can't even defend, and I have another battle ram again on the left side. Wait, what is actually happening? This is the most broken deck ever created in my, like, I've ever seen. Um, I have four battle rams in a matter of 20 seconds. How was he supposed to defend that? That's so crazy. Gonna rage this one up just to make sure it gets the tower. If I was this guy, I'd probably close the app right now, um, because, man, you know, I respect him for still trying, but both those towers are about to go down, um, and we, <laughs> we're not even at a single, and I just played four battle rams in 30 seconds with only one pump down. Like, what am I playing right now? That was actually crazy. I thought it was in, like, infinite elixir legendaries challenge or whatever um man i missed that guy low key if you guys remember you guys remember that guy um 
he was actually a good youtuber i think that he made a lot of guides and stuff he also played mortar and expo a lot so um you know maybe that's why i liked him i'm always i'm always so biased towards those kinds of players i'm gonna rage up i missed oh no please no i'm so sorry yes okay thankfully the evo skellies did get a little nerfed so they're not uh, i'm gonna spawn infin infinitely on me there but uh, i'm gonna go for the three in the back oh no 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 wait what do i do I gotta get to my little prince, I think. He's gonna try and predict it. That was probably the worst thing he could have done, because now that balloon's... Oh my gosh, wait. Hold up, Dagger Duchess. Okay, I see you. Um, but still, right here, as you see, it just allows the balloon to get a connection. Uh, I'm gonna go Evo Skellies. I think I can three-crown this guy, because we've got an Evo Battle Ram. Hopefully, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try and get, like, mostly three crowns in this video. Um, rage that thing up. Musketeer's still alive. Heal Spirit gonna heal that Musketeer. That's GG's. Look at this Battle Ram. Just whatever you can call it. Ramming into the tower over and over, like, four times in a matter of five seconds. So overpowered. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think the one problem with the battle ram is going to be, like, you literally can't just defend it for any kind of a positive trade. Um, I mean, if you have, like, skeleton army, sure, but um, for most scenarios, you're not going to be able to defend the battle ram for any kind of positive trade because, like... I mean, it's four elixir. I mean, I'm talking about the evil battle ram, of course. Um, it's going to just push whatever you place on the map aside. I think bowler fully counters it, of course. Great. Let's just get another bowler meta. I can't wait for that. Um, but other than that... Really, I don't know if there's a great response to, like, one-on-one -on -one with it. You kind of have to overspend. That's basically how champions, not champions, um, evolutions are. <laughs> Just kind of how it feels, at least. Okay, Dagger Duchess is kind of selling me here. Oh, wait, I need to pop the ability. Oh, wait, where's my... No, where's my ability? Okay, I need my elixir back at least. Where's my... Okay, it gave me, gave me my elixir, I think. Um, oh, I'm cooked. What the heck? No! Dang it, my little prince didn't pop the ability. That's actually the worst feeling ever. I gotta pop the ability, try and save my tower, maybe? I think we can save the tower just barely if my little prince heats up enough. But you know what? Honestly, guys, it doesn't matter if I lose my tower because we can just overwhelm him in double elixir when I get, like, three pumps on the board. So uh, I'm just gonna go for a second pump right about now. And then see what this guy wants to do we've got the evo ram already um so i'm feeling pretty confident about our chances even though we are down like it doesn't even matter tower tower hp doesn't matter um when you've got this deck that's gonna three crown absolutely everyone so i'm just gonna cycle another collector here um yeah if, if you're actually looking for a deck to try this is actually pretty much probably the funnest deck i've played so far um i tried a lot of like actual decks and i was like nah this is not my vibe this is more my vibe also i'm gonna be doing a video soon where i ask for your decks specifically that have ram not ram runner battle ram in them um so i'm gonna try out all your creations and stuff so stay tuned for that probably coming up in like the next two or three days um i'm gonna be doing that because i just want to play the card the card's a lot of fun in my opinion um it looked really broken from the initial whatever you call it, like the, the initial tweets um, and like stats and stuff. But you know what? I think it could be a pretty balanced evolution overall once people... I mean, it's not the hardest thing ever to counter as long as you don't catch yourself down in Elixir too much. Um, so I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to chill here. 47 seconds left. No, I don't think I can pump up because I need to try and start spamming. He wastes his evil archers. Hold up, guys. This is my chance. I'm going to get a three musketeers down. Um... And then maybe I'm going to go Skelly's here. He's got a bowler, though. I'm going to battle ram other lane because he can't defend that, right? No way he can defend that that right side right now. I'm going to go for a second heal spirit. That battle ram's going to slide through. Um, rage just to make sure. Okay, we do take tower. We're going to lose this tower on the left side. Um, okay, Dagger Duchess. Oh, my goodness. Hold up now. Battle ram to kite. Wait, maybe we're not going to lose this tower. Wow, that actually just smoked those recruits. Um, but Evo Skelly's on this right side. Not bad. I'm just going to go 3M. He's got Rage, though, so I'm not going to do anything yet. Just going to cycle my three Musketeers in the back um, and try and reset here. The problem is, Bowler is a massive counter to the Battle Ram overall. Um, so a lot of people are probably going to be running Bowler to kind of spoil the fun of the card a little bit. But, um, you know, as long as you're better than them, you can still win games. I feel like going to go Skellies to make sure this Fisherman goes ahead and dies for me. That would be great. And then I'm going to cycle Little Prince in the back. <laughs> but, yeah. Having a really good day. Feel really good, really good and refreshed. Um... And let's see, I'm just going to try and, I guess, pump up again. Is that the play here? Um, I can't really do anything. Oh my gosh, Bowler. This is, this is going to be tough. This is definitely the hardest one that I've had to uh, play so far. Oh, whoa, whoa. I need to go 3M on 0. He doesn't have a big spell. I need to heal, heal up my Musketeers as well. Um, so hopefully they heal up from this. Nope, they're not going to. Wow, I think I lost, guys. Uh, wait, no. Evo Skellies are going to save me here if I just let the Bowler lock on. Um, battle ram on the left and then we have so much elixir here i gotta be patient though i gotta be patient i'm gonna go for another set of three musketeers in the middle here evil skellies are still alive battle ram actually connects i can heal up these musketeers or not um, but look at this we have is that five musketeers evil skellies on tower what is happening right now evil battle ram in the pocket or on the right side i guess so we can't defend both um hold up 
I just gotta spam on this right side, I think. Double Battle Ram. Um, heal Spirit as well, just to heal up these muskies. Go for the, uh, Little Prince. Everything. I'm gonna spam another Battle Ram on the left side, because he's gonna have to spend all of his Elixir defending on that right side. And he can barely defend the King Tower, and that's gonna be GG, because he can't defend the left side tower now. We're gonna pull this one off. Holy cow, the Evo Battle Ram spam is too overpowered, especially paired with the three Musketeers. I mean, wow. I think that the majority of you guys would agree with me if you think that the bowler deserves a little bit of a nerf. Um, if they nerf the bowler just slightly, then, um, you know, honestly, I think this meta could be pretty fun, but I'm going to cycle a little prince in the back. Also, I'm not really sure if the dagger duchess should have more HP than the princess tower. Um, I don't know. It's, it seems kind of weird that it sh does so much better than princess tower in almost every situation until, until later in the games. Um, it has more HP than it. I feel like it should be similar or at least the same. Um, you guys would be, you're probably like, oh, like, look at that right there. A princess tower is not taking out that, um, lumberjack like that. I kind of cooked myself here. I'm going to have to rage it up. Unfortunately, it is really bad against balloon. Yeah, he's got freeze as well. So this is not looking good, but, um, I mean, a princess tower is terrible against balloon too. So it's not like it's just this. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I think it should be the same, el not elixir, the same HP as the princess tower in my opinion, because, um, for a lot of situations, it's a lot better than the princess tower. So we're going to cycle a pump in the back. Like right here, look at this. So he's got an eye drag. Usually I have to respond to this. Instead of, instead of responding, I'm just going to ignore it and go for the elixir collector again. Because I'm pretty sure that kills the entire thing. Yeah, oh my gosh. That does more than kill it. So I'm just going to go for a third pump. And like right there, that's going to save me. I mean, that's going to give me like four, five, six elixir advantage. Just from what I had before. I'm going to go skellies. Do I even need to? No, I didn't. Wow, bad skellies, Hunter. I can't get used to this card, guys. Okay, there's the balloon. I'm just going to go little prince on zero not on zero he's on zero and then i can go for the battle ram on this wait i'm gonna go yeah battle ram on the right then battle ram on the left and then go for the heal spirit behind this left side one um and he's gonna have to defend that i'm gonna rage this up on the right maybe two connections okay that's still good though because little prince on tower and evil barbs on tower i mean oh my gosh battle ram four elixir like he can't even defend it if he's not even down that much elixir because I mean, like, Boulder's his only counter, and you saw right there, even Ethel Battle Ram still gets a connection against the Boulder, um, unless they play it perfectly, I think, but this guy doesn't know that. I'm just gonna go 3M, and just like that, we took both his towers in the matter of one push. Uh, there's pretty much no way you can defend positively, like I said, against the Battle Ram, so I don't know. I, it might need a little nerf, to be honest with you guys, but um, all the evolutions need a little nerf if we're being completely real, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go for the Skellies. Um, something I would like to see nerfed is the Evo Zap, because it's just, like, way too... For two elixir, it's kind of ridiculous how much value you can get. I'm gonna go heal spirit, then go for the battle ram once again. We got the evolution back in hands, and imagine this being one cycle and not two. I mean, it used to or it was supposed to be one cycle before all the um, official creators told Supercell they were like, guys, this cannot be one, one cycle because man, this card will be absolutely disgusting, um, and will just take out everything in the game. I'm actually really excited for this entire season because I just kind of need to prove to myself that um, I am at a level where. Like, I, you know, I've been grinding for a long time in this game, right? I've been playing this game for however many years and playing it like, I guess, oh, wow, he used poison. Now I'm going to double pump on him, but double pumping like it's Fortnite in freaking 2016 right now. But um, that's going to take out, hold up. I think I don't even have to defend this. Um, and this is what I mean. Okay, so this is the problem right here, right? I'm only going to take like a thousand damage. Okay, he did use the guardian, so now I'm going to take a ton of damage. But okay, he's going to spam the whole bridge, I guess. Um, but if I, if he didn't play anything, I only would have taken about a thousand damage with a minor and a little prince, which is kind of crazy. But uh, whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to lose my entire tower. And now he's down two pumps and I've already gotten back to a third one. So we'll just drop this down. But yeah, um, I just kind of need to prove myself because... Man, the amount of time I've been putting into this game, you guys should have seen my screen time. I don't know. I don't know if I want to share it. My screen time last season, like on Clash Royale, um, it is it's kind of disgusting, I'll be honest. But, uh, you know, on that grind, I just want to be the best that I can be. Um, also, CRL is finally here. I'm so excited. You guys know that I couldn't really play that much last year because I've always had soccer practice. That is not going to be a problem for me this year. Um, and I'm very, very excited to see what I can do. But I'm just going to cycle the Elixir Collector in the back. And yeah, we're <laughs> I'm just pump. I'm just pump cycling at this point, guys. Um, I've got three down before single i mean if you get four pumps in single it's over man it doesn't matter how, if you as long as you have both your towers there's nothing they can do because um, i could be down literally as much as i am right now and i'm so incredibly confident i'm gonna win this game so i'm just gonna start cycling battle ram in the back and then is it time is it time to spam now nah, let's go for i think 
Let's go for three him in the back. And then I'm going to cycle back around to another battle ram. My thought process here is he's, he's, Tesla's going to be out of cycle. Um, his knight's completely cooked now because he had to spend it on that little prince. And then I can probably cycle back to a battle ram right now. We got the evil battle ram too. I didn't even think about that. I'm going to go evil ram the bridge. And then I can go ahead and play normal battle ram the left side. How is he going to defend this, guys? It will take a Christmas miracle for that. Yeah, he's cooked. He used all his elixir. Oh, and we pre-raged the evil skellies. That is the worst feeling in the world uh, when you are using the evil skellies. Someone drops a spell predictively on them. Uh, um, and that's going to be GG's. Another battle ram on the other side. He just can't keep up with the ram spam at this point. Um, Loki, that's a fire term. I could use that in one of my rap songs because you guys know I'm the best Clash Royale rapper in this game. Um... <laughs> not actually but you know maybe maybe one day i'll write a clash royale rap like you, there was that one guy that wrote a clash royale rap um oh my gosh what was his name dude i can't remember now somebody please comment that i can't remember uh, but he wrote a clash royale rap like when the first game was first out um and it was actually kind of heat you know it was really cringy and stuff but um i thought it was funny I'm just gonna rage once again that's gonna be gg's battle ram's gonna oh my gosh guys tell me that's fair please tell me that's fair oh my gosh if you see this card come down and you have zero elixir, you might as well just close your application, I'm not gonna lie. I really hope that Pump Mirror is not actually going to be a good combination in this meta because, man, I suppose it's going to be horrible. Um, you can't keep up with that many pumps, and, you know, as soon as you get overwhelmed and they start spamming Evo Battle Rams, it's over, man. Okay, another Bowler, which I'm expecting to see a lot of this season. Um, let's see. I guess I could just pump up and ignore this. Let's see. Okay, maybe not. I'm going to have to pop the ability, which is fine, and then I can go for the double pump. All right, that was the worst freeze I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's fine to take some damage, as you guys know, and now he's about to be... Oh, I feel bad for this guy. You guys already know what's going to happen to him. Uh, unfortunately, I could activate King with the Battle Ram, but it's not worth it in this situation, I think. I'm just going to let my Dagger Duchess uh, go to work right there. It's so weird having a new Tower Troop. I don't know. Every single time that they add a new one, um, it just feels weird, because it's like a completely different game, right? Um, so I'm just going to go here heal spirit up high and then go for the little prince down low for this infernal dragon and then i guess i'll pop the ability as well hopefully something dies um i don't really want to lose my entire tower that would be ideal here yeah that's fine i'm gonna have to pull this eye drag back because my dagger duchess needs about 15 hours to reload its little daggers and then hopefully it'll kill the eye drag one day oh my goodness please one day i believe in you okay there we go finally the eye drag is gonna die off the map i'm getting ptsd from that video um that i posted yesterday <laughs> when the eye drag got on my tower and just took the entire thing and ended my entire career but that's gonna be fine he is gonna go lumberjack um i'm actually gonna let the stagger duchess kill it and then go for the uh, pump once again and then go for the evo skellies behind okay that was really unlucky i thought the lumberjack was gonna die um but here we go okay now he's gonna have to defend these these skellies um, if he doesn't, he's dead. Oh, buddy, you better defend those skellies. Okay, yes, the NATO, that's fine. Then we can go for the Battle Ram on the left side, and he's cooked. Actually, I'm not going to go Battle Ram. I'm going to pop the ability, um, because I wouldn't get the Battle Ram down, down in time. Then I'm going to Ram a second time on the right side. Oh, my gosh, he's he's just hurting for Elixir, you can tell. Um, single Elixir, and I just played like I was in Triple Elixir. That's how it felt. So that's going to be double towers down once again. It, you know, sack one tower to get two. I'll take that trade. And then three Musketeers are going to get down on zero and clean absolutely everything up. Oh, this is about to be disgusting. He's going to freeze, but it shouldn't really matter because i can just skellies up high um yeah <laughs> this is gross i feel dirty playing this deck but it's also a lot of fun um this could low-key work in like a competitive format against a good player too if you just get the right cycle and they don't have enough spells for your pump um, but i'm just gonna rage this up hopefully he's gonna have to nato as well i mean this guy's cooked I'm gonna go little prince in the middle heal heal spirit as well um there's the barbs i can just pop the ability on top of all those three musketeers are still alive by the way they're, they're just taking out everything i'm up so much elixir little prince is like locked on tower like a heat seeking missile right now and that's gonna be a three crown and end of the video make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one peace